In class readings like Peggy McIntosh, there was a distinguishment between equality and equity. In my research from those readings, I came across this image. This all made me realize that there are whole groups of people out there not getting what they need to survive, and many of us don't realize that. Our privilege and position in society get in our way. I remembered a scene in the Netflix show Marvel's The Defenders when superheroes Luke Cage and Iron Fist met for the first time. Now Iron Fist is starting to realize the same thing. Luke Cage schools Iron Fist on privilege. Roll the quip. Just want to help. Me too. That's what led me to that warehouse. You call that helping? You are going to beat that kid within an inch of his life? Come on. I wasn't going to kill him. It sure looked like it. The hand is dangerous. They murdered my parents. Invaded the city I was sworn to protect. That kid's got nothing to do with all that. Of course he does. He works for them. He needed a job. That's not an excuse. You never fought someone to protect someone else? Of course I have. Okay, so what's the difference? The difference is I live on their block. The difference is I'm not some billionaire white boy who takes justice into his own hands and slams a black kid against the wall because of his personal vendetta. Yeah, Claire told me about you on the way over here. Not all the mystical parts, but everything else. The money? That doesn't define me. Maybe not. But that kid is sitting in a jail cell tonight, and you're not. Neither are you. Not this time. But I've seen my share of injustice. The guy in the white hat, he's just the beginning. You're not thinking about the bigger picture. And you're not thinking about anything but yourself. Hey, you know nothing about me. I know enough. And I know privilege when I see it. You may think you earned your strength, but you had power the day you were born. Before the dragons, before the chi, you have the ability to change the world without getting anybody hurt. These people won't be stopped that way. Oh, so you're taking the war to the ones at the bottom, is that it? If I were in your shoes, I'd think twice about using that thing on people who were trying to feed their families. French-Cuban-American writer Anais Nin has a great quote. We don't see things as they are, we see them as we are. The sooner we can counteract this quote, the better. This all reminds me of the Dr. Seuss story, The Zacks. There is a north-going Zacks and a south-going Zacks. And one will knock it out of the other's way and vice versa. They would not budge, would not give in to the other, and would a whole city be built over them in their stalemate. If they just took one step into the other person's world, so much would have been accomplished. It is important to share your story with others, and even more important to hear the stories of other people to open up new worlds and understand them. Once there is understanding of what others are going through, we can have the critical conversations needed to get us closer and closer to equity and inclusion. Thank you for watching and listening.